if there was ever a, uh, a team that needed that kind of a win, we needed that kind of a win. It's a win that uh, we had to have, and we got it, and uh, instead of coming apart in the second half, we uh, got tough in the second half and did some things that I'm very proud of. But Don Shula was asked after the game if he takes a Dan Marino four-touchdown performance for granted, to which he said he'll never be that callous enough to say something like that. But perhaps we all get a little spoiled watching Marino rewrite the record books. But let's also not overlook some other performances turned in by the Dolphins this afternoon. There were two other key bright spots for the Dolphins today. First, the return of all-pro linebacker John Offerdahl. Out since the preseason opener with a bicep injury, Offerdahl plugged himself back into the middle of the Miami defense and simply recorded nine unassisted tackles. Oh, great. Well, I tell you, that's, a, that's an experience I'll never forget. I've never been out for, for more than one game. And to be back after ten games to play and just, just look in people's eyes in the huddle, and, you know, I had a smile on my face all, all through the game. The other smiles came whenever fans saw rookie running back Troy Stratford with the ball underneath his arm. The fourth-round draft pick out of Boston College was a busy man, picking up 110 yards on 19 carries. He also had eight catches for 46 yards. Did a great job for us. But, you know, you see that talent. We saw it, you know, right after the draft when we first had him in. We knew going in that uh, some of the way they play defense or, some, you know, that we have a chance to run the ball some on them, and uh, we were able to do that, uh, which we haven't been able to do in the past. We were running the ball well, and then we, we came on top with the bomb, and we caught them. And then when you pass the ball, all the holes open up. So it's a combination of one hand washing the other, and that's what happened. Of course, Dan, the reason uh, Troy was playing so much was because mm -hmm. Lorenzo Hampton went down. He had a, a concussion in his head. In fact, he came out in dress clothes. Also, Tom Brown, who had just come off the injured reserve list, goes down with a bad knee that will have that supposedly Arthur Scott tomorrow. Well, I know, you know, when you talk to coaches, every win is important, but certainly after what happened last week against Buffalo, this win today is exactly what the Dolphins needed. Uh, I want to mention, though, uh, another of my favorite teams, the Dolphins. This could have been a pivotal day for them. Admittedly, they were playing Mark Malone. Admittedly, Marino had his routine Dan Marino day, four touchdown passes, but the key thing was Tom Olivadotti's defense started to come together. Olivadotti got a game ball. Glenn Blackwood, the leader of the defense, got a game ball. And they got big performances from Offerdahl and Boza, two of the key young guys. After the game, Shula even spoke about the possibility you Green may get back in action soon. The Dolphins, amazingly enough, for those who suffered through the last uh, two years, may have a defense again. Not much suffering, though, as the Dolphins thing. It could be an oiler. Well, the weather's warm. Yeah, it certainly <laughs> is, which is where you're headed right immediately after the show. You know, Dan Marino, when it comes to calling somebody a top gun, forget Tom Cruise. It's Dan Marino. Take a look at these stats. And Axe and Jax and John and yours truly will be back as primetime continues in Un Moment.